Hi everybody, Paul from globaltradingsoftware.com and this is Friday the 30th of June. Uh, we're just about to go into CPI data so I thought I'd come on and uh, record this live uh, and go through some of the breakout trades that I've got on the automated strategy builder, the range breakout. So first of all I've got ZN. Now ZN, uh, we don't do reversals on this one, we're only looking for trades uh, with with the buyer, so depending on how this opening range, so we take the opening range from the gold pit open at 8.20 a.m. EST, and then uh, the data comes out at the bottom of the hour, 10 minutes. So we measure that 10 minute range, the current candle that it's on, uh, and we give it a bias. If the bias is bullish and it breaks out to the upside, it's within uh, certain parameters of max risk, that sort of thing, it will take the long. Um, the, the reversals don't work too well on there, but with gold we have two options. So uh, we're running uh, the normal, so it's, we're going to run a straddle or a breakout on this particular chart, which is the darker blue background. And then I've got a reverse running at the same time. So this is me uh, actually trying to run two different chart sets at the same time on the same instrument uh, and seeing how those orders um, get placed and, and how they get filled, what takes priority over what. Uh, with silver, uh, again reversals when I've done the back testing only work really on a Thursday with Thursday data. Um, so I'm just looking for a, a trade uh, with the bias if that doesn't happen or a straddle. Uh, if, the, if a reversal does happen, uh, a lot of the time it fizzles out on a Friday. So we're going to watch these, um, these charts and we have uh, approximately two, less than two minutes before the data coming out here. Uh, so again, silver, not playing the reversal, just playing for the range breakout uh, or the straddle. Uh, with gold, the lighter blue is the reversal. Uh, and then the darker blue is the, the with bias type of trade. Uh, and then with ZN, we're not looking for reversal. We're looking, for example, the trade this morning, we had the European uh, gold pit open and the bias was red. If I just show you here, bias was red. The range was defined and then we took the short with three contracts uh, and took profits at certain levels there with trading stops and targets and things like that, all automated. So that was a great trade this morning uh, and now we just have to wait and look uh, for this which is closing in less than a minute now. So we've got ZN, GC and SI futures on this Friday, not doing any manual trading today, uh, just looking at this data um, reaction uh, and seeing how uh, these because I've just just re-optimized these strategies so um, let's see how they pan out today <clears throat> again the, the CPI data could be pretty flat so we won't get these massive reaction the thing is you've got to be there and go, you've got to be in it to win it so um, that's we haven't got a crystal ball, we don't know what it's going to be. All we can do is devise those strategies around that data and that reaction. So we should get that data coming out any second now. The ranges, the candle will close, the ranges will form, and we will be good to go. Orders have submitted. Orders submitted. A long order on for ZN. GC, we've got long and short on because we've got so the long's been taken in the long's been taken in on silver as well we are near a bit of resistance there that's uh, not too clever Okay, so the gold long is pushing up now. Silver's about break even, and we've been taken into the ZN trade as well, which is really good. Um, so the stocks will adjust automatically when we reach certain uh, number of ticks here. So uh, again, we've got, um, I changed the ZN strategy today from the three contracts this morning. I've gone for a 10 contract strategy uh, today. 
Um, so gold is really rocketing right now. We're risk free on gold. So this this uh, the sell order for the um, reversal I can cancel. Okay, uh, we're risk free on the long for gold now. Silver's not really moving at the moment. ZN didn't go to risk free, didn't reach the required amount of ticks to get to that um, sort of risk, risk free status. The, the thing is, if we go too early risk free with some of these moves, it just tips you out break even and go, I guess. It's trying to, it's trying to get, when we're optimizing these, it's trying to get the, 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 the line of best fit, if you like. You know, it's never going to be. 100% accurate with these auto traders because market conditions do change. So this was actually a straddle trade because the the actual uh, range was yellow on ZN. So what we do is we put a long and a short order on on either side. So gold isn't really pushing, but it's risk free. Okay, so if it comes back down now, it'll just take us out one tick above. Uh, and I've got ten contracts on, so it'll be hundred bucks or whatever. So the main thing is it reached its uh, target to actually make it risk free. It didn't reach its target to take any profit right now, but it did for that. Uh, with silver, we are underwater right now. Okay, gold's pushing again now. Good, pretty good. 25 ticks. I think we should be. I think around 30. I can't remember 30 or 35 ticks. Where we? Uh, I, I only did it this morning, but I've spent five hours optimizing lots of different strategies. So um, that one's still not in my head. Uh, ZN's pushing up again. So you see how ZN came back to that entry, and if we'd have had it at risk, risk free, we would have been taken out. Uh, and you know it's it's beginning to try and push again right now. So um, when we're optimizing these type of strategies, trying to find that that um, that average move that it makes before it comes back down, uh, and in you know 80% of the cases it goes back up again. It's just trying to get that uh, fit just right. So with gold, that's pushing pretty well. We're about two and a half thousand dollars profit on the gold trade right now. We're risk free. Uh, we're using what's called, I think, this is going to be very close to actually getting taken out on the profit wise because we are using what we call a confirmation strategy. So the green EMA was above the blue when we actually went into the trade. So it doesn't set targets, there's targets to change the stop. But if this green touches the blue, it will just stop the trade out and take the profit. Uh, obviously, the reversal didn't go today because the data was uh, good. Um, you know, it, it sent things up. Uh, I am on another trade on a breakout with MNQ right now. I'm just going to bring that over. Uh, so I look for a data play with the. Um, this is a manual trade. I put the order on with 16 points or 17 points, 18, 19 on MNQ there. So I'm using the, the guardian zones here. I'm looking for a breakthrough of this 30 minute support resistance zone to, um, you know, to, to actually get that move up through there, that break up to that sort of thing. So what I need to do on there right now actually is apply a stock. This is a manual trade. Um, I'm going to make that just take that out there. Okay. Gold still trying to push. We just need to get over that uh, move. ZN still not risk free yet. Silver still not pushing. We need another catalyst, I think. So we go back to ZN. Uh, it is pushing. I mean, at any time with these automated strategy builders, we can flatten. Z, 
ZN at the moment $625 profit right now. It's just, uh, yeah, $625. So I could hit the flatten button uh, and take that profit right there. Uh, gold, again, gold is at uh, $1,850, $1,500 profit right now. Um, again, the, the, the danger is with this confirmation strategy, if we don't, and it looks for runners, so this is not running. <laughs> so, uh, it, it, you know, if that EMA touches the other one, it will just take out, if we get, I mean, this will take out the uh, trailing oh, stop. Yeah. Okay, so we, we didn't reach that target up the top there. It came all the way back down, so it takes it out at risk free. Nothing lost there. So we're still in ZN, not gone risk free on ZN yet. And silver's underwater at the moment. I've adjusted to take profit on the MNQ to the recent high or just one tick below on that manual trade through using the um, I'm at risk free on that as well so uh, you know that, that was a, 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 it was a manual trade uh, just trialing something with those support resistance zones around CPI data it's pushing up again right now MNQ I'm not a big fan of NQ. Okay, so if I, if, I'm, if I see something on that, I'll just go. I'll just switch to um, to micros. So you can see that here did break out. ZN's pushing up even further now. We'll look at that again in a minute. It's relaxed again, just keeps trying to push. Okay, so the target was filled on the MNQ trade and the profit was taken there. Silver is in and around that sort of break even. It's really got to push through this resistance zone. If it can, there's quite a bit of fresh air up to that pivot. We did need gold, uh, you know, gold and silver very well correlated. So uh, we did need that. See how that gold just tipped us out, it's pushing a little bit further now. It's one of those things. So, you know, when it comes to re-optimizing this strategy next week, we have a look at how, how far that came, went up before it came back down again. Do we just uh, a little bit further for that uh, sort of break even type um, stop uh, adjustment um, markets? do change all the time and you've got to keep adjusting. So ZN is moving again. So ZN is around about a thousand bucks in profit right now. We were, we made a quick hundred on that gold, but we were, you know, it, it was risk free at the time we, we, well, I decided that to optimize to make that risk free. Silver's underwater right now. That MNQ trade is still going. And again, learning from this with CPI data when I've got fresh air, if I bring that chart over uh, all the way to the next support resistance zone from the Guardian zones there. And again, check out the links below uh, for the Guardian zones um, because these are, you know, when you get data, which is a catalyst that pushes through a 30 minute resistance zone when you're on the 15 minute, this thing will pop. Uh, and they're really good trading opportunities with data. So we're fourteen hundred dollars. Okay, so there is the trailing stop adjustment. Oh, now cool. we've taken off uh, three contracts there as well. So taken profit on that, uh, and the stop has been adjusted all the way up here as well. So again, when I re-optimized this strategy today, I was very aggressive with that, being patient to wait. Um, to to get that stop adjustment just before we get to that target, take the target, take three of those contracts off, and then adjust that. That stop is quite close there now, so we're you know we're locking in some decent profit. We've made some profit, uh, and all is good in the world. Silver's at break even, Not really pushing.
yeah, learn from this from gold. Yes, we didn't lose any money, but we adjusted the stop a little bit too early by the looks of it. Uh, and maybe switch it off that confirmation type strategy and just go for targets and, and like we did with the ZN just there, target, adjust, target, adjust. Um, so that's going pretty well. That should drag silver with it. Yes, silver's back in profit now. That's pretty good. So ZN's got a lot of work to do now to get to the next sort of target, if you like, for both stop adjust and uh, to sell those other some five more contracts. If we just zoom out a little bit, you will see there. There's two more all the way up there. Now there are runners that go that way as well. Again, you need really sort of um, fantastic data reaction for that to happen. But uh, right now we're locking in some profit uh, with with this uh, very tight trading stop and we've already taken um, three of those uh, contracts off there as well. All this can be programmed in uh, with the automated strategy builders, but one word of warning, you need to be a full-time trader, sophisticated trader and understand how futures work uh, because this is not for uh, funded traders that, uh, that work a proper job. Uh, that it's not for part-time traders. So I will put that links in there, but please be aware this is um, it's sophisticated stuff. So I'm pushing there, silver's pushing as well. That's good. There we go, silver's broken that pivot now. We need a close up above this uh, support resistance zone with silver so we can actually get um, a move up here so we can test this sort of pivot here uh, so I've only I've got five contracts with silver I got one being taken off here two here two here so I am looking for a runner but the this is a target strategy rather than the confirmation so uh, this at some point uh, at the predetermined level that stock will be adjusted to risk free so that's 1250 bucks in profit right now uh, 1375 with silver, 1400 on ZN, so that's pretty good. And we've already, we've already taken three contracts off as well, so that's uh, pretty good. That's pushing now quite well. Uh, very, very uh, pleased with this. I mean, ZN, it's not something that everybody trades, but boy, it does react around that European gold pit open and the New York gold pit open when you've got data. There's some really great reactions there. Silver's not going to be risk-free yet. It's not pushed up enough. Uh, it's getting close. So if we if we look on the back end, on the strategies, we can see on silver on the opening trade. So when it goes through 20 ticks, we'll adjust the stop to two ticks, so it'll be risk-free. That first target to take that first contract off is at 26 ticks. So you know we're in and around this sort of area here uh, where we where we have that first stop adjustment so we're not out of the woods with this yet and again look at gold pushing there so i was i was too aggressive with that stop adjustment for 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 day to days uh, so again i might have to re-optimize a strategy uh, for this breakout for for day to days for thursday and friday uh, to let that run a little longer before we adjust the stock because that is pushing quite a lot now. So it was doing pretty good, 1375 again, but we, it's got to push a little bit more to make this risk free. 20, remember this is at 26 ticks, this first target. At 20 ticks is when we actually, when the uh, software uh, adjusts the um, stop to break even. It's trying to push now 1,500 bucks in profit on silver for these five contracts. And don't forget with Ninja Trader, I can click and drag and drop and make that risk free if I wanted to anyway. Uh, but uh, again, when you're optimizing these strategies, you need to give these room to breathe and gold is a prime example, we did not give that enough room to breathe and push again. So that is one of the, one of the learnings from here. We didn't lose any money, but we have to um, re-look at this, re-optimize. I'll, I'll look at this on Monday 
and see if there's something better I could do with, with that uh, stop adjust. We're pushing well with ZN now. We need a little bit more. We look left on the chart. Uh, we can see there's some, we, we've broken through some pivots now uh, with this here. If we can get close up above there, this thing should run and take those five contracts out and then we'll be adjusting the stop a little tighter for the remainder. It's just got to close up above those. We've had a little pullback there on silver. It's rejected those highs for now. Okay, let's go back to ZN. Just push it. Almost two thousand dollars profit on on the rain remaining seven contracts here. That was very close, very very close. Actually, no, he didn't. I thought he had taken a few contracts off there. I think he did, but it's not registering on my uh, account. It's still saying I've got seven open. Check me orders. No, everything's still okay, didn't take it. It's very close. See gold hit the uh, support resistance zones from the guardian zones there and bounced back down again and that's dragged silver down, so we have to be aware of that. This could this could push again, don't get me wrong. Uh, oil pit open isn't for another 12 minutes yet, so there is still a bit of time before another catalyst in the market that will affect the US dollar. So ZN is pushing again right now. Okay, so now we have that stop adjust, and now we've filled those orders for those seven contracts. So we've got three, uh, two contracts left. Uh, and it's a long way up there, but we've made some really great money with that right now. Um, you know, we have um, over $2,000 realized profit with this particular trade right now. Uh, we've got a very tight stop that's auto adjusted again, and this thing is running very, very well. Silver's not really going anywhere. One of the things that we can do, and especially if we are um, having great sort of response to those other trades, is we can make those decisions right. We've got some good realized profit right here. We've got profit locked in with, uh, with that, and we, we need to make those decisions. Let's look at the gold right now. That has really rejected those loads. Um, you know, at some stage, we're going to have to think about taking this so we're not going to have uh, a, a losing day or a break even day, really. Um, we just have a look again. A little time to make that decision. Let's have a look at ZN. Relaxed a bit after that big push, uh, but we have got some decent profit locked in with the remainder of the two contracts here, which with ZN, which is really good. Uh, I just don't want to give too much away on silver right now. If this gets taken out here, I will just flatten silver. Because um, silver's coming back against me now, and I need to think about. Why. Order cancelled. Okay, so ZN is out, and I'm going to flatten that. Down. Simple, simple. Yeah, I want to make sure that I'm up for the day. Silver did not run. Okay, um, and a lot of that is to do with gold being the leader, and it rejected those lows. ZN, however, was a fantastic trade for me. So uh, today I am $1,365 in profit. Remember gold uh, was break even. I made a little bit of money on, on that MNQ trial with that breakout of the, uh, the Guardian zones. Um, silver I made a loss, but I cut that loss early purely because I'd taken some great profit on ZN. 
Uh, it had taken that trailing stop out of turning around now, Sos Law, um, but uh, the idea was that I want to walk away on this Friday with a profit. And this is why you need to be present. There's no such thing as an EA or an auto trader, which is fire and forget. It just doesn't work. You need to be present. You need to understand what's going off. Trading those multiple contracts uh, so on, on different type of instruments so you can get uh, your trading business in profit every day. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Check out the links below for the Guardian Zones. Very, very important on the Ninja Trader. And those sophisticated traders that are watching this video, please check out uh, our automated strategy builders as well on that link.